Hi everyone, I had a small break, but now I have time to discuss with you some of the important points that came up to me during this uh, lockdown and we can discuss as well the impact of uh, something, I cannot say the word because YouTube might block this video, but the uh, impact of this on, on Dubai and uh, on economy in general. But uh, basically I think right now it's still too early to discuss the impact, but there are a few points that I can highlight. Uh, that might be interesting for you, maybe useful. Uh, so point number one is that uh, Dubai is doing great during these difficult times. And uh, I'm staying in touch with uh, my friends who live uh, in different countries and I believe uh, like after these conversations uh, that uh, I live in, I I'm right now in the best possible uh, place. Infrastructure of Dubai is uh, uh, ready to provide different kind of uh, deliveries and uh, yes, overall Dubai is doing very, very well and it's not something that only I can see. And uh, it brings us to the point number two is that I expect uh, that there will be a big migration of the funds towards Dubai uh, once the lockdown is over. And uh, the reason why is uh, that uh, some families who live in Europe, in, uh, in Middle East, in, in Africa, in, uh, in Russia or somewhere else, uh, some of them understand that uh, maybe that country is not the best place to be during uh, such uh, situations and they might consider to move uh, over here and um, uh, I believe uh, there will be a lot of families like this uh, because Dubai is safe and if things go wrong I believe that in some countries there will be some conflicts between different and uh, between people with different level of income and uh, to protect themselves uh, people will try to avoid these problems and they will move uh, somewhere in, including uh, including Dubai so uh, this is the point number two point number three is that I believe there will be an increased demand for a bigger properties for the villas with the swimming pools especially uh, because uh, such times show us that we need space uh, at home in case if we cannot leave our place and right now when I'm seeing somebody uh, who stays at villa with the garden with the swimming pool I really understand like wow I, I want it as well and um, uh, I believe there will be a trend uh, where families will move from apartments to the townhouses and uh, villas. And as well there will be a trend where people will need to have uh, a study at home and preferably a closed study. I remember I had a video where I was showing a penthouse and uh, I highlighted that there is a study that you can close and they even made a joke, a joke that you can hide there from your wife and, uh, and kids. Guys, here is a special room for you, because here you can hide from your kids and wife. It's a fantastic study. Here you can plan your next big move and nobody will disturb you. And what is important, you can close the door and use the study, because in some uh, apartments or villas uh, the study is open. That doesn't really make sense, you can concentrate uh, on work. But here everything is private. And uh, there were a lot of uh, ladies in the comments that uh, didn't understand the joke and they're like, oh, what are you talking about? Uh, like, don't say such words, etc, etc. And uh, now I believe they will see that <laughs> people really need it. And uh, uh, like, this can be as well a reason for some of the divorces. And we can see that divorce rates uh, are growing. So yeah, there will be a demand for uh, properties with the study where people can work from home. And it brings us to another point that uh, there is a chance that uh, some companies will realize that they don't need uh, offices or maybe that, that they need to uh, downsize because they will see that some people can work from, uh, from home and uh, it will definitely reflect on the commercial properties. And since the beginning, Maybe since my first video, uh, I was telling that commercial properties are not a good investment in Dubai. In some cities, it's okay. But uh, uh, yeah, commercial properties will be definitely affected by, by, this, uh, by this crisis. Another important point is that uh, US is uh, injecting trillions of dollars into the economy to support it. And uh, this money comes out of nowhere. They just printed a new money and uh, it means that now there are more money in the economy 
with the same amount of the products within the economy. So it means that we will have an inflation. And uh, inflation is never good for, for people because uh, big inflation is never good for people because uh, you just your, your money are losing value. And uh, one of the best way to protect yourself from the inflation is real estate, where you can buy something and uh, your money are losing value, but the real estate is keep on growing in the price. And uh, there is a very good uh, video that I can recommend you to take a look uh, from Ray Dalio about how the uh, economy machine works. And uh, you will see here the debt cycle and what happens when the government is printing money. You can find the link in the description below. And uh, uh, in the end of this video, I want to as well to highlight the uh, like a small conflict that will come up now uh, between tenants and landlords. Uh, I will not discuss the commercial uh, where it's business uh, with the businesses renting the offices. I will discuss only uh, residential properties, and it is a difficult situation. Yes, some tenants lost uh, their jobs, they don't have income, they can't pay rent and um, uh, they will, uh, will need to reduce uh, the, the rent that they are paying. So in this situation, it's not an easy situation for anybody. We need to remember one thing that not only tenants lost jobs, but like landlords, they as well have some expenses, some bills to pay and they as well expect the money uh, for the rent. So uh, it shouldn't be like us against them. It should be we who are trying to solve this uh, problem. And definitely landlords right now need to be more flexible with the tenants because if you will not agree and tenant will move out, uh, the chance that you will find a new tenant will be very, very low. So that's why it's good to, to discuss the reduction uh, in rent and um, try to save uh, the tenant so at least you will have some income and hopefully the situation will not last for long. And uh, after that, you can uh, sit again and discuss uh, the conditions. But uh, I highly encourage you to discuss not to lose uh, your tenants and be reasonable. Uh, because, for example, like I can't say that it was me uh, not to attract a lot of attention, but just some letters, they even increased the rent. Uh, I, faced, uh, I faced this issue. Uh, so it's not the land, it's managing uh, company, but uh, yeah, sit, discuss and uh, try to find a solution uh, together. Don't try to fight and um, try not to lose your tenants right now. So this is the current uh, situation. Again, it's too early to discuss the full impact on the economy and Dubai. Let me know what you think uh, in the comments below and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.